Are you looking for the right email platform and feeling kinda overwhelmed? You're not alone. You've got some great options out there, but that also means that choosing can be hard. In this video, I'm going to compare two highly rated email and SMS marketing tools for e-commerce brands, Omnisend and Klaviyo. By the end of this video, you will have a clear picture of how Omnisend compares to Klaviyo in all main categories and features, and feel confident about the choice that you're making for your business. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Casey and I run Luck & Co Agency. My team and I help seven and eight figure e-commerce brands maximize their revenue from email and SMS marketing. I have explored all major email platforms in my life and I can certainly tell the difference between them. So sit back, relax, take some tea, and let's figure out together which one of these platforms is going to be your new best friend. And if you're interested in this topic, please subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. It truly helps me a ton. Third-party integrations. Let's start with third-party integrations because you want your tech stack to seamlessly integrate with each other. Both Omnisend and Klaviyo have an immense number of third-party integrations that cover a wide range of services and programs. They both natively integrate with all major shopping platforms, including Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, Magento, and Wix. Beyond your shopping platform, the common apps that you'll want your email platform to integrate with are rewards programs, customer support, review platforms, and subscription platforms if you run a subscription program. Both Klaviyo and Omnisend integrate with the top players in all of these categories, so it's a tie. Klaviyo does have a higher number of overall integrations. So if you're using a less common app for anything that's essential for your store, just make sure that you look into that app's integrations with both Klaviyo and Omnisend as you evaluate your choices. Email editor. Next, the email editor, a place where you'll spend a ton of time, so a super important feature. Both Klaviyo and Omnisend have drag and drop editors and both provide a wide range of pre-designed and pretty good looking templates. However, Omnisend's editor and block options are way more user-friendly for beginners. If you don't have a dedicated email designer who knows the ins and outs of email design and you just want to quickly put together some emails, you'll have an easier time in Omnisend. A unique feature in Omnisend is the ability to drag and drop an entire section, like a hero section or a body section, like I'm showing on the screen. So if this looks like something that you would use a lot, it's definitely a point towards Omnisend. However, a feature that I love in Klaviyo that Omnisend doesn't offer is the ability to easily design the email separately for desktop and mobile versions. It's more of an advanced approach to email, but it's something that my team and I at Luck Co use here all the time. We optimize all blocks for desktop and mobile separately. And while technically you can actually do this in Omnisend, it's just a bit clunky because you cannot see the desktop or mobile version separately in the editor, and you have to go to the preview to see it. In Klaviyo, I don't have to go to preview. I'm able to switch between the desktop and mobile views directly in the editor, which is a game changer. Another advanced feature that I love in Klaviyo is their hide and show blocks. You can choose to hide any block in any email based on the conditions that you choose. For example, if you want to display a discount block, but only to non-customers, you can do that in both automated email flows and in one-time campaigns. Or only show a block to people who are not on your SMS list yet and hide that block from everyone else uh, who already subscribed to the text messaging. They have something similar in Omnisend, but it only works in flows, in automated flows, and not in campaigns. And you're limited in the conditions that you can choose for the hide and show situation, which actually kind of makes this feature easier to use because you're just using the drop down menu. And in Klaviyo, you have to add a short line of code over here. It's definitely more technical, but both Klaviyo documentation and their support team help a lot when you need to figure out which code to put in here. So to sum it up, when it comes to the email editor, Omnisend wins if you're looking for something that will help you create a stunning email with a few easy button clicks. But if you're looking for more advanced features, customization, and the ability to control and adjust every little detail, then Klaviyo is your friend. Building email lists. I think you'll agree with me when I say that your email marketing is only as strong as your email list is. Building your list is super important for any business, including e-commerce brands. So your pop-ups or sign-up forms should be a major focus for you as you're choosing your email platform. 
The good news is that you can build signup forms in both Klaviyo and Omnisend. One point towards Omnisend is that they have this Wheel of Fortune as a template. I know that some brand owners look specifically for this type of pop-up template, and Klaviyo doesn't offer that as a template out of the box. Other than the Wheel of Fortune, I actually find that Klaviyo pop-up templates are better in that they're more conversion optimized. In Omnisend, you can find templates like this one. It's not good because both the email field and the button look exactly the same, making it confusing for the visitor. And there's a saying that confused mind never buys. And if you're not an expert and you don't know this, you might just pick this template because it kind of looks nice. And Omnisend has other templates that are not optimal for conversion, like the ones where they're asking for too many things on the same page. Both Omnisend and Klaviyo offer multi-step forms for collecting subscriber preferences beyond email and SMS phone numbers, so that's great. However, a huge miss for Omnisend is that they don't currently support A-B testing signup forms. How well your pop-up performs has a huge, like gigantic effect on the success of your entire email marketing program. And as you can imagine, without the ability to A-B test your form, you can't really improve that signup rate. So your list will grow slower and you will make less revenue from your email marketing as a result. Klaviyo pop-up A-B testing capabilities, on the other hand, are amazing. You can test any aspect of the form, from messaging to design to when and how it displays on your website. And you get to control every little detail of how that test is run. I actually have a separate video on how to set up a pop-up A-B test in Klaviyo, so if you're looking for a deep dive, be sure to check that out. Hey, if you're still watching, is it safe to assume that this video is helping? If it is, I'd really appreciate if you could drop a quick comment. Those comments is what keeps me going. Thank you so much. Automation workflows. Automation is known by many different names in email marketing. Flows, sequences, drip campaigns, they're all the same thing. Essentially, they're automated sequences of emails, meaning that they get sent out automatically to subscribers who trigger them by performing certain actions. Omnisend calls them automation workflows and Klaviyo calls them flows. Automations are absolutely essential for any e-commerce business, so it's important to evaluate automation features when choosing your email and SMS platform. With both Omnisend and Klaviyo, you can start with pre-templated flows, and there's a good number to choose from. You can also start entire flows from scratch in both platforms. I'd say that you can do most basic things that you would want in a flow in Omnisend. A big differentiator is that in addition to adding emails and SMS into flows, you can also add browser push notifications. That's something that's currently not available in Klaviyo and it's a unique Omnisend feature. In Klaviyo, you can add a notification to your team as part of the flow, which is also kind of cool, but it's different and it's more of an operational help thing versus marketing type of message. There are two great features that Klaviyo has when it comes to flows that stand out. The first one is the way they allow you to A-B test. You can A-B test entire paths, for example, with a 50-50 split, or you can A-B test each message. This type of organization allows you to run robust A-B testing while also keeping your flow manageable and clean. The only type of A-B testing that you can run in Omnisend flow is where you split the entire path. Even if you're just testing a subject line, it still adds this split to the visual wireframe, which is counterintuitive to me. If you want to have three variations instead of two, for example, it's going to become even messier. And if after completing the first test, you want to run the next version of that email and test that, you will need to update this entire email and lose the old one. Klaviyo keeps a record of all past A-B tests, so you can easily go back and see older variations, what they looked like, how they performed, and so on. The next thing that I like about Klaviyo is how they display flow performance. Omnisend also has this feature to show stats, but what you see is limited. You see the recipient count, open rate, click rate, and the total sales from that email. All of that is definitely great and helpful, but a very important number that I'm missing here is the email conversion rate. Email conversion rate is how I gauge whether my content worked or not. Without this metric easily available, I feel like I'm just making decisions in the dark. Open rate and click rate are great, but in e-commerce, the conversion rate is what truly, truly matters. Klaviyo shows me that number in addition to all of the other metrics. Another huge bummer for me with flow stats in Omnisend is that I can only see them for the past 30 days. 
In Klaviyo, I can choose any, and I really mean any time frame. And finally, in Klaviyo, I can click into any email or SMS message in the flow, then click view all analytics and do a super deep dive into all stats. I love that I can do this directly from my flow without having to go to reports. So to sum it up, when it comes to flows, OmniSend gives you some solid capabilities, but Klaviyo goes way deeper and lets you tweak and customize down to the nitty gritty details. And it gives very advanced capabilities for A-B testing and analytics. Segmentation. OmniSend and Klaviyo both offer segmentation to better target the right subscribers at the right time with personalized messages. But Klaviyo is a segmentation powerhouse. With Klaviyo, you can easily create unlimited segments, use as many criteria as you feel necessary, and use as much data as you need for your email marketing campaign. OmniSend segmentation is also solid, but if you want to drill down super deep, you'll hit some limitations. For example, for a simple segment of people who opened a particular campaign, I'm hitting a wall with a few things. For the count of how many times someone opened, I can only select at least or exactly. In Klaviyo, I have all of these different other options. And then for the time period, I'm only limited to days, weeks, and months. And with Klaviyo, I can also select hours. One point towards OmniSend here is that they have a good library of pre-built segments. Klaviyo also has some when you just create an account, but there are not as many, and the experience of discovering them and actually reviewing them is not as user-friendly. You might have noticed a trend already. OmniSend features are geared more towards beginner and mid-marketers who are looking for user-friendly options and don't need super granular deep dives. Klaviyo offers a lot more customization options and truly gives you the freedom as a marketer, but it does come with the trade-off of having to be comfortable with a more technical platform. A-B testing. Do you wish you could know what type of messaging converts better for your audience? With lots of photos or with more text and education? Product photos or lifestyle photos? Subjects with emojis or more serious ones? Well, you shouldn't have to wonder. You should be able to easily A-B test all of those things. As I've already covered in this video, OmniSend's split testing capabilities are quite limited when compared to Klaviyo's. You cannot currently A-B test pop-ups, and in flows, you're limited to splitting your entire flow if you want to A-B test anything as small as a subject line. When it comes to campaigns, OmniSend testing features are better, but you can only choose open rate or click rate as the winning criteria, and not the conversion rate, which is possible in Klaviyo. Klaviyo's A-B testing capabilities are truly amazing. You can get very granular and control every part of the test. Accessing and analyzing past variations is super easy. I'd say that when it comes to A-B testing, Klaviyo lets you do some pretty enterprise-level stuff while giving you a user-friendly experience. Klaviyo definitely wins this one. Analytics and reporting. Like in most categories that we've covered today, when it comes to analytics and reporting, OmniSend gives you a solid start, but Klaviyo goes above and beyond. To keep it short, I'd say that Klaviyo's reporting is simply a lot more comprehensive. You have access to more metrics, you can dice and splice your metrics any way you want, and you can select more timeframes. Klaviyo dashboards are highly customizable. You can add or remove metric cards or views depending on your needs. This lets you remove the noise and draw focus to the performance indicators that actually matter. Also, Klaviyo has an amazing feature called benchmarks. Based on your business metrics like sales volume, AOV, and industry, they come up with a peer group of 100 businesses that are similar to you. And then they compare your performance across campaigns, flows, and pop-ups to that group. You can see your peer group's exact metrics, your metrics, and then see whether your performance is weak, good, or excellent in comparison. This is extremely helpful to gauge how you're doing and not having to rely on outdated industry benchmarks that are too general. Customer support. Both platforms offer pretty comprehensive support options. I've had more personal experience with Klaviyo support, and I can tell you that in most cases, it's fairly fast. I've also heard and read that OmniSend support is fast as well. Klaviyo email support is only available to paid users, and free accounts have access to email support for the first 60 days only. Email support is available 24-7. Klaviyo's chat support is 24 hours, five days a week, and weekend and holiday hours vary by plan. 
OmniSend support is available 24-7 on both chat and email for all plans, including free. So OmniSend wins here. I would also add that both Klaviyo and OmniSend have pretty good and comprehensive documentation. One thing that Klaviyo has added in the recent years is a community forum. So in addition to their chat and documentation, you can also search and post in the community, which can be quite helpful. Pricing. And last but definitely not least, pricing. Both of these email marketing platforms offer a free plan and free trial for their paid plans, which means that you can get a taste of what they have to offer for free. You'll just be limited in terms of how many emails you can actually send out on those free plans. Both Klaviyo and OmniSend free plan offers 500 email sends per month with 250 subscribers. Both OmniSend and Klaviyo base their pricing on the number of subscribers that you have. You can go to both of their pricing pages and select your number of subscribers to see how much your plan would be. The plans are comparable at the cheaper levels, but as you grow, you'll see that Klaviyo becomes significantly pricier than OmniSend. Also, keep in mind that OmniSend plans work a little bit differently in that they have a pro plan, which gives you access to advanced analytics, priority support, and a customer success manager. Klaviyo plans don't have a pro plan. You get access to all the features, including advanced analytics from the free stage. You only pay to accommodate more subscribers in your email lists. Such a powerful proposition makes Klaviyo highly cost-effective and appealing to small and mid-sized companies. However, if you don't need the advanced A-B testing, precise segmentation, and analytics that Klaviyo offers, OmniSend can be a good choice for you. OmniSend is better for those who don't mind compromising on some advanced features for a less expensive plan. Which brings the choice back to your preference of options and features. In my opinion, both OmniSend and Klaviyo are great solutions for e-commerce brands. You should choose the one that meets the exclusive needs of your business. OmniSend allows the creation of beautiful, shoppable emails in minutes using their drag-and-drop email builder and a variety of ready-made email templates. In general, their platform is geared more towards people and marketers who are fine with using templates if that means a shorter learning curve. It's also for marketers who don't need to go super deep and customize every little detail of their segmentation and automation, and those who are not going to use the A-B testing that much. Klaviyo feels like it's the optimal solution for more advanced marketers and mid-sized and larger companies. I'd say that if you're making seven figures in annual revenue from your e-com store, it's time to consider Klaviyo. Because you should be using those advanced A-B testing and segmentation features along with the extensive analytics that Klaviyo offers. Okay, so this was a super long video, so I really need to know. Was it helpful? Can you please go to the comment section and let me know? Feel free to ask questions or point out the parts that weren't clear or helpful. I truly take all feedback. Thank you so much. And if you're subscribed, I will see you in the next video.